Hey Ipsters, I'm Julie Candelac. I'm a celebrity manicurist in New York City and a beauty traveler and the creative director of Paintbox. And today I wanted to give you guys some essentials about how to build your own kit at home so you can do your nails on yourself. If you wanna do some friends nails, these are all the essentials that you need. So the most important things to have are your prep products and your basics. So first thing is hand cream because you always want your hands to look hydrated. Nail polish thinner because just in case you have that favorite color that you love and it's getting a little bit thick, you wanna use it again. Nail polish thinner like this one from Young Nails is amazing. And my favorite cuticle remover from Deborah Littman. Quick drying drops, these are from Orly. These are essential if you're running out the door and you just need to dry your nails really fast. And then we have cuticle oil for making your nails look really hydrated after you're done. My favorite quick drying top coat from Sesh Vite. A little secret about Sesh Vite, it never smudges your nail art after you've done it. Wrapping up with base coat, this is first base base coat from Essie and base coat is really important because it helps keep your polish lasting longer and also prevents your nails from staining. Now moving into the fun part, the color. You always wanna start with some nudes and it's always important to have more than one nude because maybe you're a little more tan, maybe you're a little lighter, you kinda of wanna match an outfit. Starting with kind of a, a more pinky shade, like this one from Essie and then also this warmer shade from Sally Hansen. These are really beautiful shades on anyone. Moving into reds because red is such a classic shade and it looks good on everyone. So I love this orange base red for the summer and then in the winter I'll wear a blue base deep red like this one here, it's so beautiful. Black and white in your kit is such an essential because if you don't know what you're going to be wearing for a day, Black always looks great and white always looks amazing and really fresh and really clean. And black and white nail art together, super fresh. Moving on to my fun, my favorite colors is glitter and then metallic like this gorgeous one from Essie's Gel Couture. And of course you always wanna throw in some bright fun colors like this one called Invite Only and my favorite name ever, Unicorn Tears. If I was able to name a polish, which I've always wanted to do, that's probably what I would call it. And I love a good pink for the summer. Like this one here, it looks good on everyone, especially if you're really tan. The next important thing that you need is a really amazing professional set of tools. So the first thing is is a pair of cuticle nippers like these from Germanicure. These are my favorite, they're really sharp and they have a really nice weight in your hand. And the next staple that you need in your kit is an amazing cuticle pusher like this one here. It's flat on one side, that's what I love, so that when you're working on it, you can just push your cuticles back and it removes all that loose skin and cuticles so that when you polish, it's really nice and clean looking. Next, one of my essentials is an angled orange wood stick. And I don't use it for pushing back my cuticles. Instead, what I do is I'll dip it in pure acetone or nail polish remover. And I don't put cotton on it because it puts cotton fuzz on the nail, right? So then I'll just clean up around the nail with that dipped in acetone and it makes the perfect clean nail. This is a new tool that I found that I absolutely love. So it's etched on either side. It's actually like a glass nail file, but it's pointed on one side and it's angled on the other side. And this is also from Germanicure. This is the coolest tool I've ever used and it's really good for pushing your cuticles back. And if you have really resistant cuticles as well, this is something that will get rid of all that skin and just clean up around them really beautifully. Next is, this is what we call a curette. And if you look really closely, it actually looks like a teeny melon baller. So if you're pushing your cuticles back, and this is also an excellent tool for cleaning under them or pushing your cuticles back and removing any of that loose resistant skin. Then, of course, these are technically toenail clippers, but I love using a bigger flat bladed toenail clipper to trim my nails with because being bigger, it's much easier to see what you're doing and it just feels better in your hand and it's also not as easy to lose. Glass nail file like this one here, this is from Germanicure. A glass nail file is good for anyone whose nails split really easily because it seals the free edge. And this is a diamond file from Diamond Deb and this is good for anyone with regular nails or really strong. And I love how thin it is, it can really get into the side of your nails really well to give you a really beautiful shape. 
And of course, you need some more nail files. So this is a padded buffer. This will help to smooth out the nail plate before you polish. Something like this, this is really coarse. This is if you're taking the length down, if you're having, if you have gel on, or if you wanna take off and remove your gel polish, this is what you want to use. It's a 100, 180 grit. This is only to be used on enhancements like acrylic or gel polish. And then of course, a file similar to this one from Essie. This is around a 220 grit file, which is perfect for using on the natural nail. Now for my favorite tip, these are disposable mascara wands. You can buy these in packs of 20, 30, 40, and you can use them for anything. Say you had red nail polish on and you want to polish them white, but you have all this red polish kind of stuck, right? So just take one of these, dip it in acetone, and go around the side and underneath, and it'll totally remove all that red polish so then you can polish them white and no one would ever know. One of my favorite things, we can add some loose glitter to our kit because we can do so much with it. We can add it into polish, we can do shapes with it on the nail for nail art, and who doesn't love glitter? Some studs like these you can pick up, you can just apply them really easily with some top coat. I got these in Japan, but you can find these online. Something else that's really important is to have a little bit of a palette like this. If you want to put your polish on, you're doing nail art, um, it's really much nicer to work on something like this as opposed to a piece of aluminum foil or something. Also what works really, really well that I love is a soy sauce dish. You can get them at World Market, something like that for like a dollar or two, and they can be really, really cute too. A staple for any nail art kit is a set of good brushes. And they're not that expensive because they're so tiny. They're under $10 a piece and they'll last you forever. This one here is an angled spotter. The size is 5-0. And I love how it's angled so you can really see the work that you're doing. And this one here is a spotter. The size is a 3-0. And this is my favorite brush. This is a liner and the size is a one. I really like a size zero or a size one. It's perfect for nail art. And something else that I love is a dotter. This is a dotting tool from China Glaze, and you can do so many things with dots. You can do like flowers. You can also do glitter with it. I think that's really beautiful and elegant as well. My favorite nail polish pump has a metal cap instead of a plastic one. Most commonly, you'll see ones with a plastic cap, but I highly recommend getting one with a metal pump like this. You can find these online um, because it's much more touchy, so when you're doing nail art, it doesn't kind of spurt everywhere and it's much more sensitive in a good way. If you need to clean up your cuticles, clean your brushes after dipping it in one color, and you won't get it everywhere. Of course, cotton rounds. These are my favorite versus cotton balls. Cotton balls are too fuzzy, so definitely something like cotton rounds like this is a necessity for a great nail kit. Most importantly, you need nail polish remover. I think that it's best to have pure acetone when you're doing nail art because you want to dip your brush in it and it cleans it up really nicely. And then something that's really important to have is 99% isopropyl alcohol. So what this is good for is cleaning the nail plate before you polish and also for cleaning your tools because it's really important after you use your cuticle nippers and pusher to clean them with something that is designed especially for a not porous surface like that. And these containers are from Muji. I have traveled with these containers with things like acetone in them all around the world and they never leak, so they're my favorite. Also when it comes to traveling, I keep all my polish in pencil and makeup kits like this and they just work perfectly and I've never had a broken bottle. And last but not least, you can get a really cute case. This is one that I use every day. I get this at Muji as well, and it's just nice to have something to keep everything together, keep it neat and tidy, and it's just really cool to carry around too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned a lot, and I can't wait to see what you do with what I teach you. So be sure to tag me in your nail kits, in your nail art, and I will see you there. Julie K Nails NYC. Bye.